Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. All right, those coming back to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, whose name is Yahweh. All right, Bahasham in the name of Yahweh Shai, our mediator. Our high priest, the only begotten son of the most high. Okay. In which we have received the Holy Spirit. In these latter days. All right. To come back to the most high. All right. And have the understanding of the names. Okay. Who we are and what we would need to do. All right. To get out of this decrepit kingdom. Okay. Known as Babylon and great. Or whatever particular captivity you may be scattered in among the heathen because that's what would happen to the israelites the israelites will be scattered among the heathen via biblical prophecy in the latter days okay and in the latter days a remnant will return all right so that they can be heirs to the promise that was given unto our forefathers the patriarchs okay abraham okay isaac and jacob all right, so fret not, all right, those who are of the uh, household of faith, all right, as we see this decrepit kingdom honing in on world domination, the NWO, okay, uh, the Heavenly Father is making moves in preparation to get us the hell up out of here. But before he does it, this place is going to implode from the inside out, okay, there's going to be uh, mass divisions. Okay, and we're going to be angry looking at a lot of this, all right? But within it all, you have to dig into your spiritual bag so that you can have a reason to rejoice as well, all right? Because what does the scripture say? Babylon would not be healed, all right? And we're looking at a recipe for disaster. When you look at what's going on in this country, when you look at what's going on worldwide, it is absolutely a recipe for disaster, Okay? As we see what's happening in this world now, I have this on the screen. I'm going to pull that back up in a minute. Let's start with the book. As a matter of fact, let's get uh, the book of uh, Jeremiah. Because you still have people of the mindset that this place will be healed. <laughs> no. All right. This place is not going to be healed. As a matter of fact, let's go to Jeremiah 51 and 7. All right. This place is getting ready to be destroyed. Now, prophetically, there is a kingdom known as Babylon the Great that will rule in end time prophecy. When you link it up with more end time prophecy, you find out that the biblical Edomites are the rulers of this Babylon the Great. And Babylon the Great all right, is accompanied by a beast system. The whole beast system is Babylon the Great, the NATO, and the EU, all right, which it's uh, all in shambles, all right? It's all in shambles, man. The image of the beast, all right, is being absolutely uh, tainted. Edomite supremacy is going downhill, okay? In America is ultimately a recipe for disaster as well as this whole rulership. This is Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup in Yahweh's hands. All right? The Heavenly Father raised up these particular nations as the elder apostle Ramla went into yesterday. Empires raise, empires come, and empires go. And this one is no different. The only empire, okay, the only kingdom that is uh, prophetically to rule forever is the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, and the Israelites, the saints, in which righteousness will flourish throughout the four corners of the earth. Look at this wicked rulership. Look at this place. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, all right, and it's full of what? Wine. And what does wine do? Okay, it alters you from your true, who you truly are. It alters you into ways of Satan, 
so that your soul can be given into the hands of the enemy, all right, via, you know, uh, lust, witchcraft, propaganda, scare tactics, and various other things, man. So all the earth is drunken, man. And look at our people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who cling on to this beast system. It's getting harder to talk to you, okay? You're in a zombie-like state, and you're wondering after the beast, the nations have drunken of our wine and the nations are mad. The nations are pissed off. Okay. Babylon is suddenly fallen. Okay. And destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so. All right. B. She may be healed. All right. And what is balm? Balm. All right. Is something that you put on a wound. Okay, a wound that uh, ultimately heals it. And over the years, they've done particular things to patch up, you know, QE this and all of these different, uh, uh, you know, throw, just putting, throwing billions and millions of dollars into the system. Well, we're living at the time where that's about to implode. You even hear talks of the government running out of money. Food shortages. And a lot of these things are manufactured by the elites because they are honing in on world domination where all of you people will be on your knees begging, right, for your everyday needs and necessities from them. That's what's being set up here. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. All right. And many nations are, are, are in this mindset to separate from this place for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even unto the skies. All right. So the, the heavenly father hath remembered how this place was founded. He's remembered how you've uh, uh, used the Bible for a means of witchcraft. He, he's remembered your enslavement. He remembered what you've done to children. He's remembered everything that you thought you were going to be able to sweep under the rug via witchcraft and enchantments. And we're living at a time where nothing but disaster can come from what's happening. Okay. Isaiah 19 and one, the burden of Egypt. Behold, Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud and the chariots are here. Okay. And he's going to send back his only begotten son, very soon man that's our only hope if you think you have a hope outside of a miracle or something of a higher power coming and stopping this man then hey you you good luck go get your bank all right come together as black people all right support each other's businesses okay cute but at the end of the day how are you going to get out of this toxic wicked rulership okay because with the, the, the way that they're moving, you won't be able to do a damn thing outside of their grips. Okay? The idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. Okay? And his presence is here via what? His prophets at this time. And we're condemning the idol worship. We're condemning the wicked practices of this place. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And people... You know, they're still, you know, uh, you know, uh, got a little bit of bread and circuses, which that's all being broken up. Right. But pretty soon you people will realize what's going on, man. <laughs> Remember, the Roman rulers, which we are in Rome all over again, when they saw that bread and circuses kept the people's uh, uh, attention off of what was really going on. Okay, what what happened? They built more stadiums. Okay. And here it is. They got all these damn stadiums. All right, but they don't put anything in these neighborhoods. Because where are these stadiums primarily located? Uh, uh, around in the hood? Around Jake? Right? But these same people who build these big-ass stadiums can't do anything in, in, in uh, to, to help forward your nation within these communities. So we've given up hope and we've, uh, as the scriptures say we would do, 
we would no longer lean upon this devil for any goddamn thing. All right, now we're still here in Babylon, a great, all right, whatever we have left, you know, as the scriptures say, we use the world but not abuse it, but we have a mindset to totally separate. And we're coming into very, very exciting times. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Okay. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. Now, look at let's look at some of the ways this place is being divided. Okay. There's an article, which I'm not, I don't have to go too deep into it. Okay. Babylonians are sharply divided over juice mandates. Okay. And man, I was looking at YouTube yesterday. And there's people, there's groups of people flagging other groups of people videos. These people, there, there's nothing but division. As we've already went into, families are being broken apart. You got a grandma and mama telling the son and the daughter don't come if you don't have juice. You got marriages being uh, destroyed. Okay, men and women no longer agree. The, the households were already divided via the, the, the mess and witchcraft. Now, there's more of a divide. This is the new so-called racism, <laughs> right? And look for it to get worse as the unjuiced will be to blame for every goddamn thing. And who's the face of unjuicing? You Israelites. And they're using these sports figures, all right? Athletes and in particular uh, things like that to push both sides of the spectrum. It's always Jake who they're throwing in your face. When we know who's the biggest uh, uh, rebellers against this NWO, the, the, the other Edomites. Why? Because they feel like they have been screwed out of their blessing in what they thought was their inheritance. America, okay, the land of the free, the home of the brave, the Constitution. It's all being shitted upon by the current administration that you have in. Okay, which this is the worst. He's top three. He may be number one, Biden. He's the worst. As a matter of fact, when you get, keep reading here. So I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. Everyone shall fight against his brother and everyone against his neighbor and city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Right. And we're seeing that divide, which this is how the rulers. OK, uh, capitalize and forward their plan. If you can see what's happening in this earth in the laws that are being passed, all right, they're tyrannical. They make no sense. You're getting you're, you're being taxed. OK, they're passing laws every day that even uh, uh, you're going to be taxed for driving on the road. OK. You're going to be taxed for driving on the road. OK, so the, the, the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poor. Now, everyday Edomites are realizing, damn, we're the poor as well. Damn, the, our America has slipped from us. Damn, what happened? And where's the Christians? Where's the Christians? I, I typed in into the Bible, what does the Bible say about tyranny? Let's get Proverbs 22 and 16 real quick. Okay, they're buying up all of the land, promoting fake meats. Goodness gracious, it's Proverbs 22 and 16. It says, He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that uh, uh, give it to the rich sure, shall surely come to want. Let's read this in the NLT. And this is what's getting ready to happen because Babylon is being found wanting, all right, in spiritual things, in spiritual means, man. And your riches are a witness against you, according to James, the fifth chapter. And now the rich elite families who were once hidden are now being called out by, by everybody. He shall not be able to hide himself because of what unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit. A kingdom could never go forever in evil. The law, statutes and commandments are the only way. A kingdom can be ruled forever. A person who gets ahead by oppressing the poor 
or by showering gifts on the rich will, will end in poverty. And this is what, what's happening in this world. Okay? And you got particular uh, 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 Edomites who, uh, who, who are doing videos complaining. We'll get to a few of those. But here we go. In, in the midst, in the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. You go tax me for driving. All of these taxes, and then the people who have the most money don't have to pay any taxes, but the poor have to pay more taxes. And it's worse under democratic rule, but yet the poor cry for the Democrats. <laughs> and this presidency is destroying this country. Hallelujah. Call halal yahabashim yahashah. We love it. Although we look at it and we, because we're learning righteousness while we're looking at this. See, the Lord put us in this position so that we can know and understand rebellion ain't the way. He's going to make sure we're going to cry to him. He's going to make sure of that. And he's making sure. If you ain't crying unto the Lord, if you ain't, if you don't feel sorry, if you ain't like, Lord, I get it. The serpent went in the way. But it's going to get worse. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst of, and this is a spiritual Egypt. I know you're seeing Egypt, but when you go into the scriptures, there would be a spiritual Egypt, which would rule in end time prophecy. Okay. At the time of the Assyrian Empire where Isaiah prophesied, Egypt had already failed. Now, there were particular, you know, uh, uh, powers that rose up here and there, but it never returned to that power that it once was. All right. So this is speaking of end time prophecy. Just as Egypt, a lot of the things that were happening there can be tied to here. OK, plagues. Witchcraft. You know, the, the trying to destroy the, the Hebrew children. All of that is back. Enslavement of the Israelites for 400 plus years. All right. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. All right. And how would he do that? And we're going to show you. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. Okay. And the Egyptians, and this is uh, the witchcraft. That's why when you look on TV, everything is rooted in witchcraft. The food is all rooted in witchcraft because that's what keeps their power going. Deceit. All right. Deceit, deception, the, the, the turning people against their own selves. And that's what happened to our people. When you look at people arguing and fighting for this agenda that they're pushing, they have been deceived. They have been enchanted to believe destruction and them and destroying their own selves is the way to go. God damn. And see, the witches and warlocks are calling unto these gods, but they ain't answering like they used to. So what are they doing? They're running out of time. They're moving with, with wrath. They're, 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 they're moving with, with fervency to, to what? Hurry up and establish this NWO. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord. Okay, let's read this in the NLT. Let's see what that says. And I will hand over, and I will hand Egypt over to a hard and cruel master, and a fierce king shall rule them, okay, says the Lord, Yahweh of heaven's armies. Now, <laughs> who, who could that be living in the times we're in? Antiochus Biden, okay? And that, those three lines that he has in his name. Let's get this. You notice Kamala's been quiet. 2022. This dude may just fall out of the <laughs> fall out of the chair and she may pop up. But 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 check this out. Which I've done a video on it. You see this E right here? That is actually all right, the uh the 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 uh Zai. When you go into Revelation the thirteenth chapter, you have Chai, Zai, Stigma. Okay. That the the this is a Greek character right here. These three lines. As a matter of fact. Show you. Let's 
See that? So the Lord is putting the spirit. If you if you ain't spiritually discerned, you, you're not going to see these things. and It's not going to mean anything to you. But yes, this is the Zai. Okay, and when you go to Revelation 13, it talks about chai Sai stigma. Okay, this may very well be Antiochus. This is a Greek symbol they have. Why did he have that? Why does Biden have the Zai symbol in his name? Or why did the Lord put the spirit on him to put that symbol, okay, uh, 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 in his name? It's crazy. It used to pop up more. Here's one. See that? That's the Zai and Chai Zai stigma. It's either an upper or a lower case. I believe it's uppercase, but there you go. Because we are living in the Greco-Roman beast system all over again. And what happened when Antiochus came on the scene? Okay, he came peaceable, but eventually that tyranny kicked in and then Hellenization. Okay. Hey, hey. See, Revelation 13, when you go to it. Okay. The number of the beast is what? See? Chai, Zai, Stigma. All you have to do is Google Zai, okay? And we we go deeper into this on the uh on the uh, bit shoot, GMS Dallas bit shoot. Just go there and you'll you'll see. But there you go. Zai, you see that? I highlight it for you. It's a uppercase. But ironically, that's in his campaign. <laughs> you all didn't see it. You all didn't notice it, right? You all thought that this was salvation. You all thought you all you 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 uh, uh you, you you fell for the propaganda, okay? Which to hell with Trump. But if you were a hardcore American, that should have been the guy that you wanted. To forward the place, right? And speaking of 666, okay, and these dims, check this out. Democrat, all right, Democrat slip plans for $700,000 juice compliance fines under U.S. Code Section 666 into budget bill. You, you you think John the Revelator was was wrong with what he recorded and wrote down for us? Huh? This is the man of sin. This is that system. <laughs> Democrat House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has quietly slipped a provision to amend U.S. Code six 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 to levy seven hundred. All right, thousand dollar fines on companies that do not enforce highly controversial forced juice. Okay, into Democrats' three point five trillion reconciliation budget bill after President Joe Biden called for persecution of businesses with over a hundred employees that do not force workers. To take the juice, 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 juice. <laughs> so you look that up on your own, but I mean, did not John the Revelator tell us? Okay. Oh, we 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 were right there. We go back. Let me just click on it again. He said, "Here's wisdom." Revelation 13 and 18, here is wisdom. Let him that hath the understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 603 score 6. Okay. That's the chai size stigma. And if you want 
understanding on that, go to our BitChute account, GMS Dallas on BitChute, okay? You can get the information on that. Can't do, can't go too deep into that here. So, yeah. You know, you, you all crying for these Democrats as if they're the saviors of the world, okay? But look at you. Look, look, look what's happening. Total tyranny, man. But I digress because both Democrat and Republican are wicked and the Heavenly Father's coming to destroy the whole system. I'm just speaking. Because look, this got to be that cruel Lord. Now, the Rothschilds, the rulers of this, the, the whole system are ultimately that cruel Lord, but Look who they put in front of you. Look at what's happening. Now, this guy has all of these mandates, right? But look who's exempt. Congress and, and legislative branch. It's like they're doing these things to cause people to uprise. They're, they want people to be pissed off. The congressional staff, the judicial branch. White House staff, CDC employees, FDA employees, USPS employees, all right, NIAID employees, these employees, these employees, and illegal aliens. Illegal aliens don't have, they can come over here, okay, <laughs> Get they get paid, they get free health care, and they don't have to juice up. But look at all of the people that do. It's causing a stir. It's, it's set up to cause division. They know people are going to rebel. They know it's going to lead to what it's leading to. Here it is. Okay. Border control. Okay. Border control agents must be juiced by November of face being fired. See that? You can look into that. But you're telling me. You're telling me. <laughs> that the Border Patrol ain't important. And they know what is it going to lead to people uh, 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 quitting their jobs. The same thing that's happening at hospitals. What's happening with the hospitals? You have you have a, a shortage of nurses. So what's happening they're not delivering babies. So you're going to have to figure out how to deliver your own baby. All right? And it could be done. There's already stories of it being done. All right? But that's, you know, but here, here you go. A, 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 a recipe for disaster is what Babylon the Great is doing. And the Heavenly Father has a spirit on them to do this. So that prophecy can be fulfilled, man. All right, because what does the scripture say? All right, he had two horns like a lamb, but he spake as a dragon. And we always bring that out. Okay, th these these two opposing political forces came to you as if they really meant well for you. Now look where you are. And the witchcraft is so strong that people fight for these agendas. Okay, they fight for their own enslavement. They fight for the, no one to have free speech. They fight, all right, for people not to have rights. They fight for people to be forced to do things. They, they're fighting for these agendas. Okay? <laughs> yep, Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast come up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. There you go. We're here at the dragon point. He came as a lamb. Remember, they swore in on the Bible. They came with their suits on. Now they're telling you it, 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 it's go time, nigga. It's dragon time. And we know dragon goes back to an Athenian lawgiver named Draco. Look it up. We always go into it. You got to catch up. So this is a recipe for disaster. Workers are quitting. Jobs that are very, very important. You think this is just a coincidence? You, you don't think they know people are going to quit their jobs? 
What's going to happen when the border control workers quit? And, and look for a, a double F, all right? A double F, we'll call it that. A, 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 a false, all right, uh, you know, flag. <laughs> F it. Okay, because th th that's what all of this is leading to. We're we're at the threat of this. We're at the threat of that to scare the shit out of you into submitting. That's what's coming. And it's it's a lot happening, man. Check this out. Leading with our mandate, which strikes at midnight tonight, when everyone is expected in a hospital in the state of New York or a healthcare facility to have. Look at the title of it. Absolutely. Uncon un unconsociable, unconscionable. New York is set to fire seventy thousand healthcare workers tomorrow. All right, during a public and listen to what's the what's the uh, what's the solution? Leading with our mandate, which strikes at midnight tonight, when everyone is expected in a hospital in the state of New York or a healthcare facility to have been vaccinated. I will be signing an executive order to give me the emergency powers necessary to address the shortages where they occur. That's going to allow me to deploy the National Guard who are medically trained, deploy people uh, who've been retired who may have had a license lapse. Bring in so now retired police officers, because police officers are quitting too. Okay? Police officers are like, hell nah. Some of it is, is set up so they can forward their agenda, but you really have a lot of people who are like, hell nah, man. They're trying to get religious exemptions. Right? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see, did I have something else on that? And people from elsewhere, that is not my first position of my friends. My, my, my desire is to have the people who've been out there continue. The National Guard go come deliver babies. <laughs> oh, really? You to work in their jobs, work in them safely, and to all the other health care workers who are vaccinated, they also deserve to know that the people they're working with will not get them sick. And we'll be nation leading. Lot to God during this time. And you know what? God did answer our prayers. He made the smartest men and women, the scientists, the doctors, the researchers. He made them come up with a vaccine. That is from God to us. And we must say thank you, God. Thank you. And I wear my vaccinated necklace all the time to say I'm vaccinated. All of you. Yes, I know you're vaccinated. You're the smart ones. But you know there's people out there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. You know this. You know who they are. I need you to be my apostles. I need you to go out and talk about it and say we. I need you to be my apostles. Hmm. They're bringing God into it. Wow. Oh, this to each other. We love each other. Jesus taught us to love one another. And how do you show that love? But to care about each other enough to say, please get vaccinated because I love you. I want you to live. I want our kids to be safe when they're in school. Yep. No comment. I have no comment on what she said. Revelation 13 and 11. All right. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he, and he had two horns like a lamb. All right. All right. Something innocent, something that's going to, you know, save you. You know, they, and they, and they, and they swore in on the Bible. All right. But now they're speaking as a dragon. You really thought you had a choice. And where are the Christians at? Any of you Christians got something to say? Outside, outside of uh, the Common Sense show and call for an uprising. Any of you other ones got any, something to say about this? As a matter of fact, I think I got a video with this guy. Let's see here. For those of you that followed me for any length of time, you know that I've got a couple of very reliable sources in the Border Patrol in positions where they know things. They're not just your average entry-level employees. 
and both of them independently of each other contacted me in the last 24 hours and they told me there's something coming for the border patrol that'll affect every american in this country and i couldn't be because yeah the border control done then who's going to protect you oh i know who joe your worst news and i'm sorry this is just one bad report after another but this a recipe for disaster that's what it is order out of chaos this is what you get when you're ruled by communists my name is dave hodges you're watching the common sense show we are the show that is freeing america one enslaved mind at a time and we are brought to you by the best storable food company in the world. Oh my goodness, folks. You have seen <laughs> the warnings. You have seen the supply chain breakdowns. You've seen the meatpacking plant breakdowns. You've seen the slaughter of cattle. You've seen farmers paid to not grow. All of this is happening. People are just walking around screaming, How about them cowboys? With a Miller light. Crops have threatened to not violate federal requests not to do so. You have seen it all. You've had it reported here. Some of the mainstream media has reported some of this, but not consistently. They're not raising the level of concern that, ladies and gentlemen, eventually, if you're not stocked up on storable food, someone's going to control you and your family, and they're going to use food as the leverage. You see that? <laughs> they're going to use food as just one of the leverages. To say, you, you got to follow me, come into this system. Because we are in the MOB system. Undoubtedly. Oh, that would never happen in America. No. Just like it's never happened in history before. Right. Constantly. It's a repetitive. And the, 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 the highest forms of tyranny come from uh, democratic administrations. Historically, going back to the Greeks. Look it up theme in history and my fear is we could be living it now whether we are or not we can debate where we're headed i don't think there's much debate but we could debate it but the fact is what isn't a, a, an ounce of prevention worth a pound of cure correct okay can i recommend that you get at least six months for a member of your family now bob griswold and other experts say you need two years in seats okay but let's just get the six months up these are balanced meals well, the border patrol mandate. And if you, you if you see a shortage, because shortages are coming, you're not wicked to go out and get extra, right? But we know where our faith lies, and we understand that the Lord is going to ultimately be the one that takes care of us. Okay, if you're in a position where you got extra beans and it's a famine, eat the beans until the Lord does something else. You know, don't be over righteous. Don't be stupid, right? But don't go out losing your goddamn mind, okay, in the store fighting with Karen because you your, your, your cart stacked up with, with 28 pounds of lunch meat, okay, in, in a, in a <laughs> 60, 68 uh, uh, bottles of fucking Tylenol. Talking about, oh, I got I to gotta, I gotta save myself. Eyes wide open. Went to renew my registration yesterday. These niggas just walk around all the lunch, meat, and medicine. I'm like, damn, they guess and white bread. But yeah, don't bug out. But you're not wicked, all right. If if you see a famine coming, just go get a little extra, all right. Hey, the Lord gave us a, a census for a reason, right? All right, but don't lose your damn mind. All right. Hey, the Lord gonna take care of us, man. We will we will create it within the story to get through it. Okay, the just shall live by faith. Here it is. I feel like breaking out into a song because I've been saying it's coming. Oop, there it is. Uh, <laughs> as much as forty to fifty percent of the border patrol may not be employed before Thanksgiving, despite the fact it's going to be a dark Christmas for these people. Woo! Despite the fact they'll be totally unemployed, that's uh, how many we estimate aren't going to take the uh, mandated injection. 
And uh, two Border Patrol people have told me that uh, they have been told, and they're in supervisory positions, they have been told the mandate's coming down in November. One person said the 15th, one person said the 17th, doesn't really matter. They're both saying exactly the same thing, independent of each other. Now, they do know each other, but the, I don't think they said, hey, let's call Dave Hodges separately. And No, they didn't know. One did not know I talked to the other. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you think your border is unguarded now? <laughs> Let those pop. Yeah, yeah, it's unguarded. How do you think all these, all right, so it's supposed to be guarded, but, you know, political reasons, they allow particular uh, aliens over, illegal aliens, Okay. A lot of uh, jakes, you know, uh, you know, from different, you know, but just wait now. And these things are going to cause what? We're, we're, we're in threat. We're in total threat. We got to do this. We got to do that. You got to do this. You got to do that. We got to shut this down. We don't have workers here. You, are, are you, do you see it yet? <laughs> Post office workers will still be delivering your mail. Oh, the borders will be wide open. The military can't defend the country, but you're going to get your mail. <laughs> and judges are going to be able to be free to go to court. There'll be no shortage there of judges to throw you in jail. I could go on and on, folks. This couldn't be worse news. I am so distressed by this. So we're saying the Border Patrol is not essential personnel. But the post office is. I'll let you be the final judge. I mean, when you read the comments, man, these, you know, these Edomites, because this is the, these are the Christian Edomites, you know. And the Lord put, you know, put the spirit on them. They they're pissed off about what's happening with America. In addition. <laughs> To being no shortage of postal workers because they're they're free from the mandate, and judges they're free from the mandate. There's also going to be no shortages of IRS agents to monitor everyone's bank account with six hundred dollar transactions. Okay, you do six hundred dollar transactions, you're, they're gonna be watching. They're gonna tax what you get from from Cash App. All of these things are on board, right? Oh, man. Yeah, I love reading these comments, man. This, these are the best comments to read, you know, where, where these Edomites are gathering pissed off. All right, he had another video that I saved here about the shortages. I've been hyper vigilant lately about when I go into stores and I'm like a heat seeking missile looking for information on one particular topic. And I don't even have to be heat seeking. I could be cold seeking and hit the target on this. This is not a good report. This is not good news. And I'm sure after I say this, if you haven't already noticed this along with me, you're going to say, holy blank, Dave, you're right. I see it too. And you have brothers who work in these industries of trucking, all right, showing, look, these, these trucks ain't moving, right? This is all being done systematically, man, okay? Remember, they bought up all of the land. They, they're, they're shutting down farmers, see, paying them not to farm and, and, and taking over their operations, for what? Y'all going to see. The devil going to show you who he is. The scriptures say he's going to come down with great raft. <laughs> Through his policy. Unrighteous decrees. Revelation 12 and 12. When this, He's going to be cast down, man. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. The elect, all right? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Okay? And of the sea. 
because everybody's uh, uh, feeling a wrath. Birds. I just saw an article with 23 new extinct animals. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, okay? Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Let's look up the word wrath. Thumos. And people don't see it. But that's all right, man. Passion, angry, heat, anger, for with boiling up. Okay, passion, he 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 is getting ready to come down hard because in the fullness of his sufficiency, he's gonna be in straits. He's in a position of difficulty because what? <clears throat> every every everything is leading towards him being everything's exposing him. That's why. This particular platform is banning everything. He don't want he he wants everybody fully dependent on him. You can't think for yourself. You can't have your free speech is done. We're just hanging on to the little bit of time the Lord has given us to still preach, but that's just getting ready to be done with, over with. A few more little operations and double F's. All right, negative flags. All right, double ed, though, 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 all it takes. I'm telling you. And that's how they're going to bring that uh, uh, that that other thing, that karagma. Okay, I believe. All right, but I speak as a man, but I, I believe it's going to be a, a a double F. All right, domestic terrorists. We, these people who are amongst us. And we don't know how they got it. Well, nigga, you 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 shut down the border patrol pretty much. <laughs> this is a recipe for disaster, and this is all being done so that out of chaos he can bring order. The the Hegelian dialect, Revelation the thirteen describes it. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits, and every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. All right, and the laborer is the wicked. All right, when you look up that word, the wicked. Imal is what? The labor, the workmen, and the people who work for this system are, are, are getting ready to, to, to rebel, man. Okay? People are 100% fed up with this place. All we got to do is prophesy, though. Yeah, we're fed up with it, but we understand that it got to go. These things must be, all right? My name is Dave Hodges. You're watching the Common Sense Show. We are the show that is freeing America one enslaved mind at a time. And she we want you, if you haven't done so, to hit that subscription button. You want to be free to be who I want to be. We just respect each other's right quality. Lots of diversity in the food. You're not going to get sick of it. There's a great spot. Okay. Dave's been pushing, pushing, pushing. We need to do it. You don't have much time, folks. Preparewithdave.com is where you want to go. Due to shortages, we may be out of certain products. You walk into Costco, you see the same thing, and they're rationing. We've talked about that yesterday. You walk into Walmart, you're seeing the same signs, and I'm hearing they're going to rationing by the end of the week. Hmm. Uh, Target. Same thing. I'm hearing they're going to rationing next week. I hear they're already rationing a couple things, but they're going to go wholesale by next week, and they have their shortage of signs. Uh, where were we at recently? Oh, yeah, In-N-Out Burger. Late night snack after our Eagles concert. Oh, not good healthy eating, no question. But we went in there. Uh, In-N-Out, good service, great food, just not good for your diet. But they had the signs too. Shortages. Expect shortages. Everywhere you go. They're saying, expect shortages. Hmm. They know what's coming. Why don't you? Why don't you? Why aren't we hearing this every day? Now, they're already putting limits on water, toilet paper. Yeah, okay. Folks, you're just seeing tip of the iceberg. BBC report yesterday. What was regular items will soon become luxury items. And they mentioned things like nine pillows, 
toilet paper, drinking coffee, getting <laughs> soda. Glenn Beck came out and said, his analysis says that our standard of living is going to drop precipitously. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you let communists take over. They first destroy. That cruel ruler. So they can build back better. Out of chaos comes order. That's their favorite saying. <laughs> this is, you know, we kind of reap from what we sow. Is there strategies we can employ? Yeah, I talk about them every day. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and America is definitely reaping what it sows. Check this out. This is off the brother uh, GMS White Stone 4. We have been reporting here on the dozens of cargo ships waiting off both coasts. Tonight, the warning about what's to come and what we're seeing in stores already. And the advice we heard for shoppers going into the holiday season, it got our attention today. Here's ABC's Kaylee Hartung. Tonight, empty shelves lining more stores nationwide. Some retailers complaining product shortages are becoming as bad as they were at the start of the pandemic. Costco, once again, limiting purchases of toilet paper and paper towels. From Nike to Apple, American businesses feeling the pinch. The Delta variant hitting Asian economies hard, meaning fewer goods are being produced. I'd get going right away. Uh, I mean, if you want uh, something under the Christmas tree, the proverbial tree, uh, <laughs> you might want to start shopping now. It's Christmas? It delivered. COVID-19 disruptions causing a lack of workers at every part of the supply chain. Fewer dock workers and truckers means record bottlenecks of cargo ships off both coasts. Whether you're waiting on that couch you ordered to get delivered <laughs> or maybe trying to get ahead of your holiday shopping, those goods might be stuck right here. Between the Port of Los Angeles and here in the Port of Long Beach, nearly a hundred ships are out here just waiting for a place to dock. Just can't Dozens do nothing. More stuck waiting off the ports in New York and New Jersey. With demand remaining strong, major retailers like Walmart and Target are even chartering their own ships in order to stock their shelves. David, there's such a bottleneck of ships in Southern California that they don't expect operations to get back to normal until at least early next year. David. Yeah, we'll be watching this in the months to come. Kaylee, thank you. Are you still having trouble finding some grocery items and other supplies in stores? Wheat germ and things like that, yeah. Uh, cleaning supplies for a while. It's not just groceries, but everything from new cars, furniture, and appliances that have months-long waiting lists. I'm an insurance agent. I have people that need to get appliances, and they're sitting off the coast of California. Publix says this about those hard-to-find items. The industry <coughs> continues to face shortages during the pandemic, and those shortages on product and packaging may vary week to week. In some instances, suppliers have discontinued multiple varieties to concentrate on their best-selling items to meet demand. Professors of supply chain management say the reasons are multiple. Some of this is due to disruption in the plastics industry in the U.S. Going back to the winter storm that knocked out power in Texas, that continued on before they got fully back to normal. We started getting the tropical storm. So we're dependent on factories in China, which China. some of them shut down. And then we had the container shipping delays that are uh, out on the West Coast. Some big box stores like Costco are starting to limit the amount of certain items, like paper goods you can buy, not necessarily because there is a shortage, but because they anticipate higher demand as people get nervous about shortages. And speaking of high demand, FIU professor Andrea Pertuccio says that might affect your holiday turkey. I foresee that uh, <laughs> if you want to have a good turkey at Thanksgiving or Christmas, you better like to plan in advance because there might be a, a shortage and you need to think about a plan B. A plan B, but experts say probably don't panic. Just look somewhere else if you can't find it at the first place. It might turn up sooner or later. And they do expect these shortages to last and go around back and forth at least until the end of 2022. So here's the good news on the job. <laughs> the end of 2022. And then they go cover some good news. Jobs front, there's so much going on now with supply chain management. The FAU has just added a brand new master's program. So okay. if you'd like to get in on that, you can go. And these people are all down. All right, like, like the apostles say, the, these failed actors, they come and become newscasters. It's all an act. It's all, all right, uh, uh, and, <laughs> and what are you going to have to do to get those jobs? <laughs> Sign up. Terry Parker, the BPBF, 25. 
Second Ezra 16 and 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Now, this is Ezra's asking as he's seeing these prophecies and visions. Okay. He's saying, who will deliver me in those days? So, so it's showing you he saw himself in these things. He saw the elect in these things. What does the scripture say? Jacob is going to be delivered out of it. The remnant. The beginning of sorrow. So Ezra's is here. Probably. He said, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings and beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? <clears throat> and we're seeing all of these things happening, man. Famine, death, wars. The powers that be are in straits. Evils are, are increasing. The mindset of, of the people is getting worse. <laughs> Behold, victuals, okay, shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. So right now you can go get your 20 nuggets, okay, full of who knows what, all right, for $3, Okay, nine dollars for a salad, though. All right. So you think you're in good case, but even then, shall evils grow up on the earth? Sword, famine, and great confusion. Ain't this happening? For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. These, this is what's coming, man. I mean, I. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. And those of you who are who have consented, oh Lord, <laughs> oh my goodness, man, there shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. No farming, and and, and that's being systematically done right now. OK, all you have to do is just type in farm shutdowns. I know it was a big thing in 2020. How the pandemic, all right, which that's just the front to to, you know, promote to do these things shut down orders hurt north texas full fields empty fridges <laughs> why farmers are forced to let food rot during the shutdown dumped milk smashed eggs plowed vegetables all right these are just a few headlines okay pecan farm shutting down laying off 130 African uh, swine fever creeps closer to, to the U.S., threatens pork industry. <laughs> and there's people protesting it. <laughs> oh, man. So much. So much is happening, man. And people think they're in good case. They, people think things are all right, man. The trees shall give. Uh, the trees shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? <laughs> oh man! Full fields, empty refrigerators. Didn't that didn't that uh, uh, article just say that? The grapes shall ripen for who shall tread them. For all places shall be desolate of men. All of these factories are going to shut down. Right? Wow, man. Woo. Hey, would it have a kook say, though? Would it have a kook say? Give me one second. 
full fields, empty fridges. That 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 fulfills the prophecy that we just read. Let's go back to the bro have a kook though. What did, what did he say? Habakkuk chapter 2 or 3 when he when he when he received this vision of what's going to happen when the Lord invades this place he, he got he kind of messed him up a lot of the prophets when they saw the Lord you know in the day of the Lord they were like oh they got sick they saw prophecies concerning how Israel would be getting done in the last days Habakkuk 3 and 16, when I heard my belly trembled, my lips quivered at the voice, rottenness entered into my bones, and I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he cometh upon the people, unto the people, he will invade them with his troops, those chariots. We ain't looking so crazy these days, right? And you, and you know what? Scoffers are popping back up. Scoffers are popping back up. They're becoming, getting more proud. Why? Because judgment is getting ready to come out. If you're scoffing at right now, the Lord just wants you to be in that spirit. The Lord created you to be in that spirit. Natural brute beast made to be taken. Go ahead and have at it. We told you the prophecies are going to drown you scoffers out. Now you're popping back up for your judgment. In the field, it says, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. All right, agriculture system shut down, and the flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herds in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. <laughs> All right, the Lord God is my strength. He will make my he will make my feet like hinds feet. And you know, hinds are like uh, those goats. I mean, for, like they literally can walk on a straight wall, man. It's the type of power we got coming. And who, he will make me to walk upon mine high places to the chief singer on my string instrument. So, hey, he's going to rejoice in you. How about you, shy when you see these things coming? Let's go separate us from the world, man. Even when you have those... Thoughts of, oh, shit, how am I going to make it? The Lord will go take care of us. <laughs> Let me see. Where is that scripture in good case? Oh. That's what I wanted. I'm going to just read this one. And I'll, I'll leave it out. I'll move on. This is uh, verse 21 in 2nd Edges 16. Behold, victor victual shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And people really think that they're in good case, man. And even then shall evils grow up on the earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion, man. Wow. The virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms. Women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having, mourn, having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hear now these things, and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Behold the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Goodness gracious, this may be we going to at camp tomorrow so lord willing lord willing so i mean let's see here i had a few more things division i ain't gonna even, i ain't gonna play it <laughs> you see that title protest around the world uproars of the people it told us when we see the uproars of the people okay we're gonna know what times we're in we're going to a different economy a different economy is coming what do you think that is
So with that, we'll give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Basha Rachakwidash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, peace and salutation unto the elect. Shalom. You see it.